Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be doing some comparison examples of ChatGPT 4 versus ChatGPT 3.5 just to kind of give you an idea of how they differ. Let's get started right away. First, I want to highlight some of the biggest uh, improvements when it comes to ChatGPT 4. Creativity is going to be one of them. I'm going to do an example just like this, just with a different movie. Obviously, uh, they can show it here, but actually doing it is another thing. Since it's more creative, collaborative than ever before, I can generate, edit, and iterate with users on creative and technical writing tasks, such as composing songs, writing screenplays, or learning a user's writing style. Visual input, unfortunately, at the time of creating this isn't available. I will leave a link down below to another video I did kind of explaining this. Uh, hopefully it does come up soon. And of course, longer context, it can handle over 25,000 words of text, allowing for use cases like long form content creation, extended conversations, and document search and analysis. Something I've realized is that the input, or excuse me, the output that you get is going to be pretty long as well. So let's start off with uh, 3.5. Right off the bat, as you can see, say with like either of these, let's just do the default one. Optimized for speed, currently available to plus users. So if you're going to be using ChatGPT4, you're going to need plus either way. And if we compare these two, you're going to see that 3.5, the speed is through the roof. And that's going to be a huge difference right off the bat. You'll see that I can pretty much talk over when I create 3.5 content. But with this one, I'm probably going to have to stop it and come back to it just because you would have to wait so long for it to finish. However, the reasoning and conciseness are very high compared to this over here. Well, reasoning isn't, you know, Let's see, we have five on this one and we have three. Conciseness is two and conciseness is four. So that's like the statistic overview. Let's do explain the plot of the Terminator. This is exactly like it talked about before. And what I'm going to do is I will talk over this because uh, it's not going to be that long of context, obviously. So <laughs> apocalyptic battle, cyborg destroys, escaping future, government hunts, intrepid John, Kyle, loyal man, narrowly obliterates, protects... Uh, questing resistance, Sarah terminates, ultimately vanishing, vanquishing, sorry, Willy, xenomorphic, youthful zealot. Okay. Well, that was pretty cool, right? That's, that's something that the other ones just aren't as great as doing, or let's just test it out. So we have this one. Is it capable of doing? Will it be as good? All right. So look at that big difference like it is so much more concise there's more reasoning to it there's more understanding yes i am talking about that movie it's just it's incapable of doing that so right off the bat that's a huge difference that's where you can tell with the reasoning and conciseness so let me pull up my little uh demo pad right here here's another really good one in terms of conciseness i did this previously but I want to show you kind of more of the power of chat GPT-4 when it comes to that reasoning and conciseness. So it says, I need to wake up at 4.44 a.m. to go to the gym. I get back around 6.30 a.m. and start working. If I finish work at 4.30 p.m., how many small breaks can I take throughout the work period so that I have plenty of energy throughout the day? So not only are we talking about specific times, we're also asking for a specific answer. So what I'm going to do is hit enter here, and I will go through a little bit of it. As you can see, it's going to be a little bit slower, but like I said, the content is much better. It's usually generally going to be a little bit longer. And from here, I'm just going to cut it off. So I will see you in the future in about one to two seconds. All right, what I decided to do is it's not all the way done, but I'm probably going to catch up to it. So I'm just going to start reading through. I'll skim through and then we can both see it as we go. So the number of breaks you take during your work period depends on your personal preferences and energy levels. However, a common suggestion is to take a short break every hour or so to maintain productivity and energy. Assuming you start working at 6.30 a.m. and finish at 4.30 p.m., you have a 10-hour work period. If you take a break every hour, you can take nine breaks throughout the day since you won't need a break immediately after starting work. These breaks can be around 5 to 10 minutes long, allowing you to stretch, walk around, or rest your eyes. Additionally, you should also consider taking a longer lunch break, typically 30 to 60 minutes for a midday recharge. Remember that these suggestions are just a starting point. You should monitor your energy levels and adjust the number and duration of breaks to suit your needs. All right, great. I remember when I did this one before, I talked about the Pomodoro technique, which is great. It gave me a lot more, but this is more of a conciseness thing where it understands like when I was starting working, when I want to stop, what I want to do in between, not only understanding that, comprehending it, but also giving us an answer. So that's something that's really beneficial when it comes to chat GPT-4. Let's move back over here. I'm going to get my next prompt. All right, so I'm going to be using the chat GPT 3.5 here where the speed is uh, much quicker. Who spelled benefits wrong? 
Okay, so write an email talking about how chat GPT-4 came out. Quickly talk about the benefits and then add a call to action at the end. So this is going to be more of a speed demo. I will be talking through this as it loads. Shouldn't take too long, but aside from that, I will switch over to 4 after because I've noticed many times that the content is much longer, which is also another benefit when comparing these two. So let's hit enter. <clears throat> and as it go, as you can see, like it's just flying through like there's little pauses every now and then but you can't unless you're a speed reader really catch up to that so i am thrilled to announce the launch of chat gpt4 the latest edition of the family um i am not the owner i know it makes it sound like i am i'm just reading the email okay i want to <laughs> keep that in mind okay so with its state-of-the-art language processing capabilities it has a new standard it's been trained, it understands nuances, it can generate human-like responses. Here's some of the benefits, more accurate and relevant results. I've seen that increased efficiency, improved user experience. It will transform the business and individuals who interact with it and so on and so forth. If you're interested about it, feel free to contact so-and-so. I guess that's kind of their call to action, okay? That is a call to action. So let's go over here and just for like the speed aspect of it, you know, it's it goes so much slower that you can pretty much read it as it goes. Like introducing ChatGPT4, the latest and greatest AI language model. Okay, I hope this email finds you well. Like you can see, like just for me reading that. So once again, I guess I'll let it go through a little because it is a speed comparison, right? If speed is your thing, like it's going to be a little bit slower. But where ChatGPT4 excels compared to 3.5 and 3 is going to be the results that you get, the input, the conciseness, its ability to kind of take more specific information and create better content from it. So it's like speed versus overall output, I think is the biggest comparison here. Uh, and as you can see, the speed is a little slower. We're still going, but I'll read through this a little bit. Some key benefits, enhanced language understanding. It has a deeper comprehension of context and semantics, resulting in more accurate responses in a natural language uh, generation. So that was perfectly stated. That's pretty much what I'm trying to talk about here. It actually came off in a better way of saying it, which is cool. Improved multilingual support. Uh, I haven't utilized any different languages, so I can't confirm or deny that. Remember, not everything is going to be 100% correct. Uh, advanced uh, sentiment and analysis, real-time text prediction, greater customization, offers more fine-grained controls. Like I said, I don't know how much of this is going to be true, so I, I can't confirm all of these things. I just know what I know and what I've used, okay? So looking at this, it's still going a little bit more. We invite you to join our webinar, okay? That's going to be the call to action, chat GPT-4, unleashing the power of AI language. So as this kind of wraps up, you'll notice that it was a little bit slower, but I've noticed that with chat GPT-4, you usually get a lot more content. Like this is a good amount. There was times when I created emails with basic and sometimes you just get like this amount and we're clearly getting double that it's still going we look forward to seeing you this is probably going to be the sign off and of course that's going to be that so a few more things down there that's the email and let's see let's go to this one was it this one i did and there's that email like the other one was probably a little bit longer but both pretty good so overall that's going to be my comparison when it comes to chat gpt4 versus like the 3.5s as you can see reasoning conciseness and overall output as well as you got your input dialed in is going to be so much better but we're going to have turtle speed uh, just turtle speed i guess when we're creating it which is fine in fact i talk about that so much what i do is that whenever i create something in chat gpt4 i'll get up from my computer i'll walk around my house do some stuff come back and it'll probably still be going so but that about does it if you have any questions or anything else maybe i didn't cover i wanted to get like most of the basics in terms of the comparisons like the reasoning conciseness and speed overall chat gpt is much more powerful just a little bit slower and i think that's the best way to conclude this video my name is james thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.